Okay, this has been in my head for the longest time. <sighs> Firefly music, let's talk about them. So unless you're really into EDM, you probably have never heard of this Firefly music. Who are they? What do they do? Well, gosh darn it, let me tell you. Firefly Music is an EDM style company that engages in promoting small time music creators to give them a bit of spotlight. It's incredible how many songwriters I've listened to over the years that have given me such great music. Author Wind, BB Yuckis, Viance, Yuramoto, Bedhair, and Mochi are some of my favorites and truly each give a vibe to their songs. This Firefly Music is by far the best source of music any techno or retro person would like, featuring things like Kawaii, Future Bass, and even more chill stuff like lo-fi. You can hear songs with vocals, non-vocals, vocals in Japanese, and even some in other languages. The best part about this is even after listening to Firefly music for a gosh darn a year and a half, I'm still finding absolute bops. It's so crazy how good this channel is, and yet I only see like a couple 10,000 people listening to these creators. Okay, so they are a music channel that has over 250,000 subs. Why are they underrated? Because of the story, how they've brought so many people around the world together to make such amazing pieces of music that take well over, sometimes years, to form. Yo, yo, yo! Ah! Take, for example, Yuramoto and Bedhair. Yuramoto is an Indonesian who started making music quite a while ago, who has made incredible songs on Firefly music, like Starlight and Hot Time Summer. My personal favorite, by the way. Then you have Bed Hair, a music creator from Thailand, creating works like Paper Mache and Little Adventure. With help, by the way. What's crazy is how these two creators came together to make a piece. Let me say that again. Two different people from different countries came together to make a song. Which is an absolute riot. It was so good it became my outro for my YouTube channel. What's even crazier is the fact I was able to hear each of them both in the artwork. Let's take a listen, shall we? Straight away, I can instantly tell you right now that Yuramoto was the person who made the top area. The synthesizer going da 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 Just from the previous works that Yuramoto has made. And you can tell that Bedhair made that bottom bass area. The instruments are lined up together is just fantastic. Oh yeah, also I kind of forgot to mention that all the music that you've been listening to in the background has been from Firefly music. That just truly shows how each of their talents exemplify together. My favorite music creator is BB Yuckus, an American with so much gas he can cook a full Texas Roadhouse style steak. They're so good and deserve so much more recognition than they get. artists have like less than a thousand subscribers y'all on youtube and it just depresses me like if you guys are watching this right now please go subscribe to these guys right now i think you're starting to understand why this channel is so good the community behind it how all these composers are coming together to make incredible edm music that just really does spark and ignite to make me feel things again <laughs> you have people from united states sweden Thailand, Lithuania, Japan, it is insane how diverse this is. If this was a show, it'd be the MCU. <laughs> I'm not even mentioning the incredible artwork the community has made. Like, uh, these drawings made by people are really talented with a lot of depth that most people won't even realize. Firefly Music, thank you. Thank you for your great music. Thank you for giving all these people a place to post their music and artwork. 
It's incredible to see and listen to. Keep going. Anyways, that's all I have for you guys. I hope you did enjoy my little rant. And without further ado, I'll see you guys later. Peace out. I'll see you later. Bye.